and she's not impact in that way. She has a big impact in and around the, the you know, general play for this Man United team, but the areas they really need her to her opposition, she's not quite doing. So I think with a vulnerable Chelsea back line today, this could be a day for Jays. Abigail Byrne is the referee today. And Emma Hayes, every single game, counting down to her last one as Chelsea boss. As she will vacate the managerial position for Chelsea for the coach of the United States women's national team. And they're facing another big bit of adversity to keep hold of their title. New Year, but the same message from both sets of players who take the knee. Here we go, Chelsea get us underway. Second call already for Chelsea, flick towards goal. Charles battling for it, it's still there for Chelsea. Leopold takes a swing and over the top in the end. One WSL goal this season for Natalie Bjorn for Everton against Aston Villa. Picked up by Cuthbert, and again, too easy. Canarid is in on goal here. It's Canarid, slowed down by Blundell, tries to play in Guru Wrighton. Canarid, James, 1-0. Well, Chelsea had multiple chances to take the lead in that action alone. And it's Lauren James against her former club who applies the finishing touch and gives Chelsea an early advantage. Yeah, and the composure Chelsea shown inside the Manchester United box. You can see it here. It's too easy for Manchester United down Chelsea. Sorry, sorry, Chelsea down Manchester United left hand side. It's kind of a cheat. Does really well to, to 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 slow herself down, find her teammate. You thought here the opportunity was missed for the strike, but what an assist it was for Lauren James to just pass into the back of the net. It's fantastic from Chelsea and really good composure in front of goal. Lauren James with her eighth goal of the season. It's already her best return in the WSL. And she runs straight to the opposition fans. Emma Hayes clearly felt she had to replace her. Here's Lauren James surging through once again, drags it wide this time. Mary Earps not happy at all. I just think United, Manchester United, they look a little bit of a yard off. You know, Chelsea are quite comfortable keeping possession and finding pockets, and you can see here, Lauren James is free in the middle of the park. This is one player you don't want to be available to receive a ball in those areas because she can create all kinds of problems. So, yeah, Mary Epps has every right to be, you know, annoyed at her teammates in front of her. They have to make sure they... Finds two. Nice feet, it's Zellum. Well, the moment's a real promise there from Manchester United. Yeah, and it was good movement from Melatoon. She, she, she tries to work the back shoulder of Buchanan from the cross that comes in. Buchanan actually does really well. Here you can see, you know, Melatoon in a good position here, really good feet and... Brighton, James. And now Charles. Cuthbert. Snatched that a little bit, had more time. She did here again. Look, it's down the outside of, of Manchester United fullback. Ch James gets a uh, sorry, Charles gets a really good cross in. Half cleared from Manchester United, and it's Evan Cup, but normally from this distance, you'd favour her to hit the target. And, and as you mentioned, the connect. Yeah. Just see here, steps in Buchanan and Chase just trips her over. Lovely ball over the top. It's James. Majestic from James. Chelsea double their lead. It's a fantastic finish, by the way, from Lauren James there. It's, it's a long, direct ball. We'll see the replay now. It comes from one ball. I think Millie, uh, Mary Earps is indecisive. It's beyond. Fantastic ball beyond the Manchester United back line. And Lauren James, the first time, just hits it hard and low. Um, initially, I thought Mary Earps maybe could have come out. But... 
by the time she made the decision was too too late and then obviously hasn't set herself for the strike here from Lauren James but does really well head over it executes it really well and Lauren James loves playing at Stamford Bridge that's for sure because when she's here you're guaranteed a goal Patrick the last game in the WSL here against Liverpool and she's already two-thirds of the way there his turn oh that's in a bit of space now Blundell Lerpoles, Charles! Side netting. It's too easy for Chelsea, too easy. I've said it, you know, this opening 30 minutes, too easy for Chelsea to get down the sides of this Man United team, and you can see it here. Simple ball through, really good delivery here to the back post, and Charles has to do better, she has to hit the target. She's blindside run at the back post and makes good connection, but she has to hit the target from the... But but can uh, Bjorn couldn't keep hold of it. Chase, oh, flying Hannah Hampton had to do something, and it's a corner kick for Manchester United, their first of the game after 36 minutes. She does well, Chase, when it, you know it's a scruffy clearance there from Bjorn. She manages to get herself a yard and put a ball into a danger area. I wasn't too sure why, if Hannah Hampton heard his lad Garcia, this could be the opportunity. Straight and Hannah Hampton. Buchanan has to be better with, with the ball. She has to be. We can't, you know, you know, and a teammate should be making her aware of that. She can't keep giving possession away as cheaply as she has she has been. Chase. Brilliant run. Chase Garcia. It's there. United back in it. Hayley Lang. Excellent goal from United, and it could be a crucial one as well. 2-1. That's the sort of impact I was asking for before the start of the game from Jace. Does really well down the right-hand side to beat the defender. You can see here, really smooth with her, with her touches. Nice little nutmeg here on Guru, uh, sorry, it's Charles. And then the cut back to Garcia was beautiful. Really good block from Buchanan. But then Hayley Ladd is there to follow up, and, you know, no-one expected United to get a goal back before the half, but how important this goal is going to be come the end of the game. You see there, the little nutmeg on Charles. Fantastic block, and then Hayley Ladd's there to finish up. United make this game a little bit more competitive. Brighton, it's a dangerous one. And it's wide, free hit for Johanna Rieting Kanarid. She just rushed it, she had, she had more time, you see here, really good delivery into the six yard box, hard to defend, but... That's it, you suspect going into the break, and that is half time. Well, Chelsea started brilliantly, racing into a two goal lead thanks to a double from Lauren James. It really threatened to run away from Manchester United. But Hayley Ladd has given them hope, striking just before half-time. Next 20 minutes, Robin. Emma Hayes, the queen of the mind game, has already outfoxed us <laughs> in the second half. Well, as always. Jace. Lovely ball for Toon. This is a chance, it's Toon. Prevented. from taking a shot by a brilliant challenge from Lawrence. Galton to Garcia! Just wide. Two big chances. Yeah, you're right, Robin. Huge chances there. I mean, the recovery from Lawrence here, she's beaten. You'll see she's beaten. To get that last-ditch tackle, just as Ella Toon's about to strike. A phenomenal tackle, and then the cross comes back in, and it's Garcia at the back post. You'll see it here, Golden gets the ball, recovers the ball. Really good delivery to the back post. Charles can't see Garcia behind her, and the header towards goal was just wide of the post. But, yeah, I said Man United have come out a little bit brighter already in his opening five minutes of the second half. On the far side with Garcia. Riviera balloons that. I think what you would introduce into the game. One back well by United. Garcia is played in. 
It's Garcia. Toon. Red! Saved by Hansen. Superb goalkeeping. They just soon took a little too much time there, United. Golton having their best spell of the match, United. Toon. Golton. Trying to prevent her from getting a shot on goal, but James will, of course, she does. It's James. Turned aside this time. She's so good at doing that. She's such a you know fantastic player. She gets you thinking that there's nothing gone, and all of a sudden you'll see her here, shaping up, shaping up, goes inside, looks as if she's got nowhere to go, and cuts you back. And the balance of this player, the balance is phenomenal. And then obviously gets herself a, a, a teammate to corner here, but the way she just cuts back onto her left foot. Canarid. Here's Lerpols. Oh, it's an effort. Improvisation from uh, right in there. Looked like it was behind him as, as the delivery came in from low pulse. We thought you could hear the crowd shouting for shoot to get to delivery, and yeah, it's behind her and outside of the right foot and tries to hook it towards goal. See here. Yeah, actually... Chelsea now starting to find their rhythm again. Canarid. Off Turner for a corner. When Jane's playing in the line, she's never in between the sticks where she needs to be for those deliveries that are coming in. Here is James. Superb delivery. A brilliant save from Mary Earps. Goal kick. That was a great head around the back. It was a, a really good delivery in from Lauren James. And it was Bjorn, actually, that got herself around the back post. You'll see it here. Really good, deep delivery from Lauren James. Bjorn heads back towards goal. I think it was saved by the post there. We'll see again here. Really good header. Yep, the post saves Manchester United. And then it goes out off Charles for a goal kick. Hey there. Canarid. Away by Blondell, only as far as Cuthbert. It's James. Shut down by Riviere. Superb challenge. Oh, can get up and down one of these wide areas. Ooh, oh, again. Golton falls nicely for her. Golton is in. Down she goes. No penalty. Well, that is a big call. Big, big call from Abigail Byrne. Well, the referee's in a good position. I'd love to see the replay from where I was stood. I thought she was lucky to uh, Lawrence to get away with this, but let's see as it goes in here. Yeah, nothing in here. I think that, you know, great decision there from the referee. I think Golan's trying to buy a penalty here. Lawrence, not much in it. Certainly not enough to give the penalty. And if the game did have VAR, VAR, they wouldn't overturn that decision from the ref. Well... The switch, you know, Lauren James switches it out, but Luskin just runs herself offside and should have been more patient in a, you know, in a movement forward. It's fallen nicely here for Lauren James. Can she rubber stamp this victory? Of course she can. Lauren James with another Stamford Bridge hat-trick to confirm victory for Chelsea. It is just too simple. I don't know, another player that turns up at Stamford Bridge and scores the amount of goals that she does. Back-to-back -back hat tricks in the WSL when Chelsea have played at Stamford Bridge. Hasn't been in the game in this second half as much as she probably would have liked to or like she impact the first half, but you give Lauren James a chance, you let her go 1v1 one one with your goalkeeper, you can see here, not involved, doesn't want the ball, and all of a sudden it comes to her. She eats up the ground, the TCA can't get near her, and then the composure to just sort it past Mary Earps into the bottom corner. She does really well, no defenders catching Lauren James in these areas. Takes it offline, takes it off angle, gives herself an opportunity to open the goal up. You'll see here, she's dribbling on a straight line and she just nudges it to the left. Allows her to open up the goal and slot it home with her left foot. And it's a hat-trick for Lauren James. Calm, composed, clinical. Lauren James. I love this with the fans, Robin. Lauren James celebrating with the fans. They would have loved that moment. We have Rachel Williams in the middle now. And that's where the target is. Bit of a mess in there. Oh, Jace. What a bad effort. 
great effort. When you've got players like Rachel Williams on the pitch, you know, from set pieces, you give yourself a chance. And this is a really good delivery in from Zellum. Straight onto the head of Rachel Williams, and it's blocked by her own teammate, Golden. who was on target, and then Jesus follows up with a... The clearance here, it comes out, it comes out to Jace. You know. That's by Williams. On to Golton. Nelson. Oh. Not an easy chance, that. No backlift. No, it wasn't. And another possession out of possession has been really aggressive. What Chelsea needed. Kirby. Delayed the shots. And Nuskin. It's a wild one in the end. Yeah, I was saying, Erin Cuthbert would have been my choice of player of the match, but... Bolton in behind. Just bypasses Williams. Riviere back in. And that's Hudson's. Chase. Oh, brilliant ball. No one anticipating. And there we have it. Another hurdle cleared in the race for the title for Chelsea. This match in the balance for some time in the second half. But another hat-trick, a second in a row at Stamford Bridge in the WSL for Lauren James. Means they go back three points clear at the top of the WSL.